Okay, Stranger Things is one creepy show, we gotta admit, but there are some scenes in a couple of the episodes that have really given viewers the chills, and today we're gonna be talking about the scariest moments ever seen on the show, so be prepared to get goosebumps all over your body. But before we continue, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video if you enjoy it, and ding that notification bell so you never miss another update from us. The Lost Sister, Season 2, Chapter 7. This is quite a controversial episode, which viewers have not really felt like it fully belonged longed in Stranger Things, as it doesn't fully fit its vibe. And this is for many different reasons. First and foremost, it's really creepy, but doesn't have that same haunting appeal that the other parts of the show have. Even though we get some chill vibes from Callie's crew, the creepiest moment of all is whenever Callie convinces Axel to believe that he has spiders crawling on his arms. But this doesn't have much of an impact, since Axel isn't much of a sympathetic person to begin with in the first place. Trick or Treat Free, Season 2, Chapter 2. The whole crawling spider scene in The Lost Sister ends up setting a pretty low bar, but things get a lot crazier in this next episode that we're about to mention. In this episode, we end up seeing Eleven wake up and realize that she's in the Upside Down after she finally defeated the Demogorgon and attempted to make her way back up to her hometown. After it was made clear that Will still had a connection to the Upside Down, his mind got transported there while he was going out to trick or treat in Halloween. If this moment didn't make you feel uneasy, then honestly, I don't know what will. But anyway, nothing will ever be more disturbing than the moment when Will draws the Mind Flayer for the first time, making it clear that there were some horrifying moments yet to come in future episodes. Mad Max. Season 2, Chapter 1 After we thought that the creepy happenings were finally behind us when Season 1 ended, we witnessed another weird occurrence right when the first episode of Season 2 premiered. This episode clearly showed us that things were just going to get worse for the characters. Scientists were still trying to close all the connections left with Upside Down and the real world, but during this time, Will is still seeing glimpses of the Upside Down that are clearly haunting him. But that's not even the scariest part. What's truly creepy is that the scientists know all about the visions that Will is having in the other world, and instead of helping him, they try to use him as much as possible. The Bathtub, Season 1, Chapter 7 This episode had some really intense moments, which included a life-threatening van chase before Eleven uses her powers, so to flip the vehicle over. However, we were still shocked by Elle's psychic sensory deprivation expedition. When she was in this haunting black world, she found Barb unresponsive while disgusting sluggish foam was coming out of her mouth. While all this was happening, Eleven also saw that Will was barely holding on just before the Demogorgon approached the fort. The whole moment was the definition of creepy. The Flea and the Acrobat, Season 1, Chapter 5 Chapter 5 of Season 1 was full of unforgettable scenes. Hopper was the main character that made this episode highly interesting by breaking into Hawkins' lab to search for Will's whereabouts and to attempt to find the entrance to the Upside Down. And not to forget, he also demolished his phone in the house to be able to find that someone had implanted a bug there. Elle also spots the Demogorgon clearly for the first time. But the best moment of this episode doesn't come until the last minute whenever Nancy was wandering through a tree in the Upside Down world. It was here where she ended up finding the Demogorgon eating another creature. After Witnessing this horrific scene, she tries to escape, but fails to find her way back. Will the Wise, Season 2, Chapter 4 Oh, poor Will. He's one of the most unfortunate souls in the show, but one of the creepiest moments came when an unexpected force was invading his body and making him become severely ill. During this time, Dart also breaks loose from his cage and eats Dustin's cant, which is really disgusting to see. Meanwhile, Hopper was digging a hole to the Upside Down so he could start exploring. But the scene that really scared us the most were the ones including Nancy and Jonathan. The moment they went to the park, it was clear that they were being followed by spies that were sent by the scientists. At this moment, it felt like their lives were at risk. Those scenes truly made our hearts pound. Dig Dug, Season 2, Chapter 5 When Hopper got knocked out by a couple of terrifying spores in the Upside Down, we were almost certain that things were going to come to an end for him. But because Bob managed to decrypt Will's map, he was able to travel to the Upside Down world and save Hopper before it was too late for him. During that episode, it also became pretty obvious that there was a contention between Dart and Demogorgon, but what was truly intriguing were the episode's final moments whenever Will was shaking on the ground as the lab workers and Hawkins were torching the tunnels, proving that both of them were somehow connected to each other. The Body, Season 1, Chapter 4 It was in Chapter 4 when we really started to get the complete idea of what Upside Down really was about. All the mystery that hid behind it had just added to the creepiness of the whole thing. An unknown person in hazmat suit is devoured off screen by the Demogorgon while Ellie tries to find Will through frequency and a walkie-talkie. At this moment, we end up figuring out that Will's being
being pursued by something much more sinister. The scariest thing about all this was the discovery of Will's creepy body. For a moment, we actually believed it was real before finding out it was a fake whenever Hopper decides to cut open the body and end up discovering that it was just a decoy stuffed with cotton. We gotta admit, the show nearly had us there. The Spy, Season 2, Chapter 6. Things are definitely coming to a head in The Spy. Steve and Dustin teamed up to find out Dart, leading to a massive junkyard confrontation between a majority of the gang and a pack of hungry demagogues. Of course, this episode is really about what's going on with Will. He's connected with the Upside Down world now, and any harm that is done to it also badly hurts him. The doctors say that they're losing him and will probably be dead by the end of the day, but the most haunting moment comes when we learn that Will is basically a spy from the Mind Flayer. This character we know and love is under its control and can't help sending a bunch of Hawkins lab grunts to their deaths. The Weirdo on Maple Street, Season 1, Chapter 2. Throughout this episode, we get the chance to see a glimpse of who Eleven really is and what a creepy past held. The episode ended up giving us chills from start to finish, but the scariest part was whenever Joyce continued to hear Will over the phone while he was still on the upside down. Meanwhile, the tape in Jonathan's room was flickering on and off by itself, and unexplainable lights were occurring as well. However, what we will never forget is the terrifying scene of Barb on the diving board, and at the very last moment, she gets captured by the Demogorgon and is never seen in the real world ever again. The Mind Flayer, Season 2, Chapter 8. We really don't like seeing Will getting controlled by the Mind Flayer, but in this episode, Will is completely into it. His family is forced to time up and hide his whereabouts, and the moment that the phone rings and the demagogues discover where he is, they immediately head out to attack him. But the most terrific part in the episode was way earlier than this, whenever everybody was working together to escape from the Hawkins lab. As they were trying to do this, Bob forgot his weapon, and even though he almost makes it alive, he tragically gets ripped apart from the demagogue, the monster. Season 1, Chapter 6. At the start of this episode, Nancy is still lost in the Upside Down. Thankfully, she makes it out alive, and when she pushes her hand through. But this episode's a bit creepier than the others, and that is because it puts the character in maximum danger. When the bullies threaten Dustin by pointing a switchblade towards him, they tell him that the only way they will stop is if Mike is willing to jump off of the high cliff, falling into the water below him. Mike does so just to save Dustin, not knowing that he's risking his life like that. Thankfully, Ellie comes to rescue him and saves him by using her supernatural powers. Mike is saved, but the fact that this is something that can happen in real life by evil bullies totally terrified us all. The Polywog, Season 2, Chapter 3. Here, we mostly saw Will trying to keep his visions that he had about the Upside Down all to himself. But the most disturbing scene of all was during the end of the episode whenever Will follows Bob's advice and stands against the evil that was following him from the Upside Down. But the only thing he achieved was a weird, unexplainable smoke invading his body. Still more disturbing is actually the final scene of the episode. Following Bob's advice, Will stands up to the evil following him in the Upside Down, only to have an awful curl of upside down smoke invade his body. Ugh, this last one definitely gave me the chills. What did these moments scared you the most? For me, it was the demagogue ripping Bob apart when he was just about to escape. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to get more updates from Stranger Things. Also ding that notification bell so you never miss another update from us.